Hello Earth Signs, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo and we are going to be looking at why your person has pulled away slash distanced from you. So to those people that are in this sort of situation, this reading is going to be helpful because hopefully it's going to tell us why this person has backed away, um, what's sort of what's up with them, what's going on, anything we can find out using the tarot deck. I'm going to be using the Shadowscapes tarot. Um, now if you are after a private reading, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe to the channel and also to sign up for membership to get access to extended versions and bonus readings. Otherwise, let's lay out some cards here and see what's coming up for Earth Signs. Why this person has distanced themselves from you. Okay, there's a strong energy. Nine of Cups and the Eight of Wands straight away tells me that this person has left or has distanced because they are chasing something that they've wanted in their life. This could be a dream. This could be some sort of aspiration. Uh, it may be another person, but I get right now they have pulled away. Okay, they've become that Four of Swords energy is because they're chasing something that's been that they've been wanting in their life for a very long time like i'm talking it could even be before they have even met you before you were even together or connected because it's 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 something that they've always wanted okay and the fact that it's come up they have to chase it and i feel like they don't want to get distracted by anything else because it's going to prevent them from chasing that dream or being with that you know uh, al aligning with that wish that they have right so okay there there is a strong pisces energy so i feel like pisces are the dreamers of the zodiac they're very creative and they very much chase their dreams they're in this fantasy thing bit of, bit of a fantasy land so i'm wondering if okay I do feel like there is this person that's chasing some big dreams, some big goals. You know, they want to be creative. They want to be successful. They want to move to a different side of the world. They've got some of these huge goals, right? Um, but for others, it's like a fantasy. So it's like they're chasing something they think that they want, but it may not necessarily be the case. I feel like we've got Leo energy coming up with the Queen of Wands here too. So I feel like they have this sudden urge like, all right, I got to go out. I got to do this thing. I've wanted it for so long. Now's the time. Now's the opportunity. Nothing's going to hold me back. But then I think once they're actually going to go through it, that experience is going to be different for them. And it may change how they feel about this dream. They have two nines in particular, uh, sorry, three nines, but these two nines in this column really stand out to me here. So three nines speak of endings um, and they speak of fulfillment, okay? Nine is when we accomplish something, when we reach our goal, when we feel like we've, we're, um, we've sort of been in a situation where we feel we've done what we've needed to do sort of thing. So Earth Signs, if this person has pulled away, it's almost like you have to let them go and you need to let them chase that dream. It could be a bit of fantasy projection, right? We all have fantasy projection at least at some time or another, okay, where we think something is going to be one thing, but then we actually get to it and it's not what we thought it was. You know, some people call this like the grass is greener syndrome, especially those that have been left for someone else. That connection or that relationship may not play out as they want it to. Um, you know, they might have wished for something like this and like that person came in and they just like, they connected with them and it's all good. But in time, the Queen of Swords tells me they're going to perceive this dream or perceive whatever they left you for or distanced themselves for. They're going to go through it, they're going to perceive it and it's not going to be what they thought it would, was. And like, it's almost like they needed to live it because otherwise it will always would have been a fantasy um, and it would have caught up to them eventually. So I feel like sooner or later they would have done this distancing. It's not something you could have prevented in any way. It's not something you could have stopped because it was that desire within them. So whether it happened recently, whether it happened in the past, maybe it's happening now, maybe it's about to happen. It's something that they needed to do. Um, it was a part of their journey. And I think a part of that was pulling away and giving that connection a rest with the four of swords especially if you haven't heard from this person there's been like no contact um queen of swords tells me they will make contact soon and they may even tell you about how you know they thought it was going to go one way and it didn't 
okay, just didn't match up to what they thought it was going to be. Could be a relationship, a dream, a goal, an idea, some sort of ambition that they may have had. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's it's telling me that they just, they're going to surprise themselves. And I feel there's some of you out there that felt like you could have done something, you could have said something. So I get some of you maybe like in a what if kind of energy, like what if I just hadn't said this? Or what if I had showed up for them? Or what if I had done this? If only I had, you know, and you look at these if onlys and I don't think it's anything you said or did. I think it has everything to do with that desire and that wish that was really strong for this person. So they've gone out there, they've done their thing, that's something that they need to do. Um, okay, their dreams, their dreams are taking them in one direction and you sort of have to let it happen. You don't have to like it, um, but I feel like it's the more you like try to control the situation or try to stop them, the more they're going to move away from you and push toward that dream and try to convince themselves that that's what they want. So I feel like they might have a bit of soul searching that needs to happen through this dream or this goal and this ambition. And it's almost like you need to let that happen for them. Um, it's a part of their journey. It's something that needs to happen. And I feel like they'll open up to you about it because the Queen of Swords is here. She likes to talk. She likes to open up. So I do feel like they will make contact and sort of tell you this. Um, don't shut them down because even when they do come back, which I feel like they will, they're not going to be too proud about it. And I feel like the last thing they're going to want to hear is, oh, like, oh, you left me. Oh, well, I don't want to be with you anymore. You know, you're going to be petty. Like, if uh, that's going to cause some drama. And it's not going to help them be able to be honest and be like, wow, okay, messed up. I thought this is what I wanted, but it wasn't. Or I thought it was the right time, but it's not. You know, I tried it. I regret it, whatever. They may have regrets here. Nine of Swords, you know, they'll, they may have some anxiety coming back and, and trying to convince themselves what they're going to say to you or like, whatever but um in all honesty i feel like they backed away because they were chasing a dream but you know we can't help it we all have dreams and sometimes it's like wrong timing i know it's so sad especially with like love connections and then it's like your goals come into play and like moving countries or looking after someone or whatever and it's this it's so hard especially when these things happen at the same time so i feel like it can be overwhelming and when we're put in that position it's it's hard it puts a strain on our dreams and in our relationships so i feel like you know you just have to be aware of what was happening on their end and how they dealt with all of this so um i'll leave it there taurus capi virgo thank you for watching much love everyone and bye for now